Perfect. Welcome into Tips for Gamers, and today we're going to be showing you guys how to get free, fast VC in NBA 2K22. We really enjoyed starting out this game and trying to challenge ourselves on how to earn VC easily because, as many of you guys know, those of you who just start the game, uh, if some of you guys are starting it late like us, just know that your characters are absolutely terrible. When you first get them right in the beginning, they are abysmal as hell. So, you know, starting out trying to do good and go to college and doing all that stuff to get drafted first overall is very, very difficult because your player just sucks. However, if you do an easy process that we're going to show you, you can easily get your guy good enough to get drafted in the first round, buy clothes, whatever you want to do with the VC. It's fairly easy to make a decent amount of VC relatively quickly in this. And like always, guys, if you like the content that we do and you want to support the channel, leave us a like, a comment down below. Tell us what your favorite NBA team is and make sure to subscribe. It doesn't cost you a thing. It's free. One of the greatest aspects of this game, and there are many great aspects of this game, is that your VC goes to your account instead of an individual player. And it really is cool that they did that. And if it was the opposite way, it just simply would not work. People would be extremely frustrated. They'd be more lenient to spend money on it. So it makes sense that NBA 2K22 did this. And, you know, we got to say that we're very, very impressed with NBA 2K22 just because of the fact that we play Madden a lot on our channel and in write tips about it on our website. And uh, you definitely can see how 2K goes the extra mile. So we got to tip our hats off to him with that. So the first thing that you're going to want to do with this process is you're going to want to create a player. Make this fast. Use a player that you already created. Just know at the end of this, you're going to end up deleting this character. So don't delete your main character for the fake character because they look the same. Just a heads up. This is also not going to be one of those things that you click a few buttons and you get a million BC. I mean, we're just, I wish we could do that for you, but unfortunately that is just not going to happen. So once you create your new character, you're going to pop into the world and skipping scenes is going to be your best friend. You're going to want to skip as many scenes as quickly as possible. Now we've done this process in around four minutes and something seconds. Uh, if you do not have the spawn location, there are other ways to get around it. I believe at least that you should try and you can get it without the spawn location quest completed. You can get it in about five minutes and 23 seconds if you do it quick enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to Ricky here. He's going to go over my options or tell me I have options, something like that. I forget exactly what it was because I skipped it. And I'm going to go outside. Okay, and I'm going to complete the lay of the land, new city, whatever quest here. So after you complete this, then you're going to want to head back to your apartment. Also, if you have something cooler than a skateboard or faster than a skateboard, like a hoverboard or some of those things I see you guys riding around in, uh, you're going to be able to do this quicker. I just have a rusty old skateboard, and my guy looks like kind of like a, a badass version of Gandalf. So, you know, I got some things going for me. So after you talk to Chi, you're going to want to fast travel. Now, if you don't know how to do that, you just click RB. I would assume most people know how to do that at this point in time. And you're going to talk to Ricky again. Uh, the coffee's still there, so that was actually a good move by 2K. So, anyways... Now what it's going to have you do, it's going to have you talk to Ricky again. I don't know why I ran away. So I'm going to talk to him again. Right, and basically back. here you're making your decision on what you want to do. You want to declare for the draft. Okay. He's going to ask you, are you sure? Yes, this is my dream. And make sure to check out our brand new Minecraft resource pack called T4G's Builder Pack. It is the most realistic Minecraft resource pack for Java Edition. We have stucco, great wood, amazing doors that will only get better, and bricks that will shock you. If you or anyone you know plays Minecraft, make sure to share a pack with them or check it out yourself. It can be found in the links in the description below. You can find out to download it on our Patreon, and you can also also see the video in the links in the description below as well. Skip some scenes here and then you're gonna have the opportunity to talk to him again. Okay now this is where the fun part happens and you're basically almost over. Now you're gonna be able to pick an agent at this moment so you're gonna want to exit your apartment okay and I know it's obvious you want to exit your apartment but you want to do it if you have spawn location too because these are super far away. If you start rolling your rollerblades or your your rusty old skateboard down that's going to take you a little bit of time however if you go over to this spawn location right over here 
I believe, nope, that's not where I have my spawn. I have my spawn location here. So I actually, before this happened, before I actually unlocked this, I saved over here. I didn't save over here. I exited the game one time and then I kept spawning over there and I didn't know what was wrong with it. I was like, why do I keep spawning on this exact location? And I couldn't figure it out. Well, once I unlocked the quest, then I realized, wow, I kept spawning on the spawn location even though I didn't unlock the quest. So if you didn't unlock the quest, I would just try it. I would look at this map and I would find these little areas here. And if you guys want us to produce the map on our website or something like that, we could do that for you. But uh, I would go to the one of those locations, leave and see if you can have the same thing happen to you. Because after you have the spawn location, you have to quit out, then go back in. Now, when you come back in, this is where you're going to spawn. And then you're going to go over to, I believe it is Barry and Associates. And the reason I choose Barry and Associates is just because there's no freaking hills over this way. So it seems faster, even though the kilometers are a little bit shorter when you spawn over at that other location. This just seems faster because I don't know what's with this game in hills, but it is absolutely stupid. So I'm going to go over to Barry and Associates and I'm going to spot or I'm going to sign with them. And the other thing about it, too, is that there's less cutscenes that you need to go through with going with Barrett, Barrett and Associates. Once again, skip the scene, sign with Barrett, Barry, Barrett. I keep saying Barrett. Apparently that's his name now to me. I have no idea. But you're going to go out and then easy peasy. You're just going to fast travel back to your house. Very, very simple. And the load time really is not that bad. You're going to talk about the combine or whatever. Don't do it. For the love of God, do not do the combine because it's just not going to help enough. It's not going to be a quick enough return for you to make more money. So once again, cut through them. Cut through them. And then you're on the phone. It's usually you're going to get drafted by the Oklahoma City Thunder or sometimes the Detroit Pistons. Um, it just depends. But the money that you make is the exact same regardless of who you get drafted by. So I just made 500 BC. I made 250 BC uh, for signing with my agent, Barry, Barry and Associates. So right now I already have 750 BC. All I do now is I talk to Ricky about moving to a new place and I get 1500 BC. So a total of 2250 VC, and it takes me about four minutes to do that. So you wanna make sure too that the VC reward pops up on your screen before you quit out. I did it really quick some uh, one time and I believe that I didn't get the VC. At least that's what I thought. I was tired because I was grinding this out to make my other character good. But the big thing about this, you're making 2250 VC every four minutes, you know, in some seconds. And that's actually really good VC per minute. And the reason is because even if you get drafted first overall, like my other character did, you're getting 715, 750 VC base salary per game. With a teammate grade on top of that, I make right under 1,000, like 990 plus uh, each game on average. And even that, I'm not making as much money as I'm making doing this. So it's one of those things that you can, you know, really boost another character before going into the draft, especially if you're just starting out on this game, uh, whatever you want to do. And the other recommendation I would I would make is don't spend your VC on stupid things. I really don't buy any clothes. My guy looks like kind of like Gandalf, uh, you know, and I just wear whatever. Just as long as I'm not wearing a brown T-shirt and look like I'm a noob, you know, then I'm somewhat happy. Okay, but I'm not going to go spend a bunch of VC on other stuff in, until my character is, you know, extremely talented. I'm in a her song. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes.